Hello, good afternoon. Could you please introduce yourself and um, share with me one of some of the things you'd like to share with the world here on World Water Day? I'm Pauline Tangiora from Mahia Peninsula on the tribe of Maiwahini in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, my concerns for this water day is we haven't talked about alternatives to using some of the waters in the, in the wrong way. For example, damming up the rivers, you cut off the waterways from one side to the other of people's property. And for indigenous tribals peoples, the, um, the, to moving in, like for an example in Brasilia, uh, 18 months ago, they moved and took the lands of the tribal people, uh, raped the women and abused the children and the men were, one was very seriously injured. And when we tried to get to meet with the president to support the indigenous peoples, it wasn't possible. Now, <clears throat> the, the waterways of indigenous tribal peoples is the spiritual life force of their whole being. And without that, they, they have no, um, they've got no feet within Mother, the earth of Mother Earth. So this is happening in many places around the world. The Mama's people in Colombia asked several of us elders to go there because they are afraid of the uh, dam being put on their sacred grounds. And um, they said, well, how do you replace your spiritual land of 5,000 years for um, when a dam goes in? And so they're concerned about what's happening over there as well. It's happening all around the world, but nobody looks at the human rights and abuses of indigenous tribal peoples with water. Um, even our, the oil companies now around the world, in my country of Aotearoa, New Zealand, is a very, very narrow world country. But um, the oil resources and things under the ground, the government owns, so-called own. And recently the government was in Brazil and said to the president, if you support us to get a seat on the Security Council, we would like Petrobras, the oil company that has, has a very bad history, not only in Brazil, but in other parts of the world of damaging the environment, we'll give them a permit to come back and draw, draw for oil in New Zealand. Now that is, that is politically suicide. For, you know, we could not believe that our... So how could we uh, try to support the rights of indigenous people when it comes to water more? It is by um, publicising the damage, like the human rights should have been into Brazil and, um, and brought that story out. Nobody wants to, to support anything because they feel it's not um, socially appropriate, I suppose. And so I think the media like you today giving us a little voice because they can't come out and talk for themselves. So many indigenous groups around the world said, well, Grandma Pauline, you speak about what the injustice is to us so that people can realize that we still are alive. We still are a part of our land and we don't mind our land being used in consultation or decision with us. But because they have handed down from generation to generation the guardianship of the rivers, of the mountains and the waterways, it's right throughout the world. I think it's important that people like you give us the opportunity to tell the world about this. Okay, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you very much.